Hey guys, so today I've got my favorite eye creams. I can't remember if I've done an eye cream video before, but here we go. Uh, first of all, I want to mention be cautious using retinol around the eye area, especially around the tear ducts. There are some issues people can run into if retinol is absorbed by their actual eye. It's not an issue that everyone has, but some people can get it if you use retinol too close to the eye area. So just be very careful where you apply it. I also want to talk first about the causes of dark circles. That is a common complaint around the eye area. Many of these are genetic and there's really not much topical things can do to fix it uh, other than camouflage it. But there are three main causes of dark circles around the eye area. Uh, one is capillaries uh, that are kind of visible due to the skin around the eye area being very thin. It's one of the thinnest areas of our entire body, the skin around the eye area. So thin and delicate, which is why uh, products or skincare tools that suction can really do a lot of damage at eye area fast, bruising and things like that. So one of the common causes of dark circles is just capillaries, which are little, little veins that run everywhere through our body that are just so visible because the eye area is so thin skinned and especially more common with very pale people. Uh, another common cause is just general hyperpigmentation, which is just pigment that on your skin that it gets darker typically due to UV light, but sometimes medications and other things can cause it. Um, and then the other main cause of it is uh, suborbital volume deficiency, which means uh, there's a large area under the eye that just simply lacks the volume, which there's really, other than like things like fillers, there's not much you can do for that. And then tear trough volume, which is generally the area around the nose and orbital bone is a hollow, more hollow area and casts a shadow, which makes it look like you have dark circles, even if you don't maybe have the other two. So most of those really, hyperpigmentation is probably the easiest to deal with um, because you, there are things to brighten up your skin. Just be very careful using anything around your eye area. But um, anyway, so the other issues, maybe talk to a dermatologist or esthetician, fillers, things like that might be able to help. Lasers for veins can also help. So topical things are very limited, but here we go. So dark circles is the main complaint. Puffiness is usually the other one. Caffeine and niacinamide can really help and a lot of uh, eye products contain caffeine. So, okay, here's my number one favorite. That is Eclair's Fundamental Eye Butter Cream. I love this stuff. It is thick like butter. But it contains some good stuff. We've got caffeine in here, mugwort is in here, uh, peptides, green tea. It is just like a butter. It is so thick and I just love it. So it's great for um, dryness around the eyes and puffiness and can help a little bit with uh, uh, dark circles a little bit limited. But um, Next up we've got the Claire's Fundamental Eye Awakening Gel. This one's really nice. Great for dryness, puffiness, fine lines, caffeine, peptides, vitamin E, this one's got a really nice gel texture. I really like this line from Claire's and it seems like a lot of other people have really good luck with it as well. Next up, we've got the Kiehl's Youth Dose Eye Treatment. This one's great for dark circles. It kind of helps camouflage them a bit. It's also great for fine lines. It's got a nice kind of uh, tint to it through mica and titanium dioxide. So you might not want to use this one in your evening routine, but during your daytime routine, this one can also help brighten them up. You can see that little spot. It helps brighten it up and it also has uh, asorbyl glucoside, which is a vitamin C derivative, caffeine, retinal palmitate, and grape seeds. So some nice ingredients in there, as well as some camouflaging uh, abilities. Next up, we've got the 100% pure, pure coffee bean eye caffeine eye cream. Uh, so this one's great for puffiness. It can help also help a little bit with dark circles. We've got aloe, coffee seed extract, rose hip, green tea, and vitamin E. So this one is also really nice <clears throat> for your skin and also has just a wonderful, oh, I got to shake it up a little bit, hang on, texture to it. It's got kind of a thicker texture. Let me shake it up. There we go. So you can kind of see the creaminess of it. Okay, next up we've got the BB Beauty Bakucho Eye Plump Overnight Cream. So this one's great for fine lines and dryness also kind of helps plump up the area a bit. We've got squalane, shea butter, bakuchia, aloe, and vitamin E. This one's also pretty affordable on the more affordable end and really is nice. You can use it obviously in the evening, but I also find myself using it occasionally during the daytime when my eye air is really dry. 
Okay, next up we've got arguably my favorite product on this list. That is the Casarex Snail Peptide Eye Cream. I love this stuff. Probably my favorite eye cream. Certainly the one I've repurchased the most in my entire life. Great for dryness. Also can help a little bit with dark circles from the niacinamide in here. We've also got snail mucin, peptides, panthenol. Really nice. I love the fact I use this over my entire eye area on my eyelids, which can get dry sometimes and occasionally on areas, dry patches on my face. I love this stuff. And occasionally, sometimes even on dry areas of my neck and things. So this stuff, if you haven't tried it, highly recommend checking it out because it seems like most people end up really enjoying it. Not everybody, but most. Okay, next up, this brand has ticked me off this year, but they still have a good product. That's the First Aid Beauty Retinol Eye Cream with triple hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid has to be in everything, but... This one is really nice for fine lines, wrinkles, and can help a little bit with dark circles. We've got retinol in here, caffeine, peptides, oat kernel extract, vitamin E, elantlin. It's really nice, but if you do use this one, be very careful applying this because it does contain retinol in there, but it has a really nice, wonderful texture. I personally prefer using this one in my evening routine, but uh, anyway, this one's really nice and they have a good product, so... I can't totally ignore them the rest of my life, even though they tick me off. Okay, uh, next up, we've got the Acure Radically Rejuvenating Eye Cream. This one's really just great for dryness and can help a little bit with fine lines. Uh, this one, we've got cocoa, sunflower seed oil, vitamin E, calendula, aloe, acai berry. Really nice, affordable. I think it's about $10. So this one is really wonderful and great for budget. Uh I have a few runners up, but really quick, I want to mention the Regimen Labs Cream. This one I just like to use as a spot treatment for very dry patches, sometimes areas on my neck, and sometimes I use it around my eyes when they get super dry. Um, runner up, we've got the Good Molecules Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel, the Round Lab Dope Do Eye Cream, Paula's Choice Omega Eye Cream, the Alginus Triple Renewal Algae Eye Balm, the Peach and Lily Retinoic Eye Cream, which is really nice. The Volition Beauty AM PM Helix Eye Gel, which they just repackaged into a pump, which makes it even better. Uh, the Kylie Skin Eye Cream actually has a pretty good ingredient list, so I can't totally ignore them. It's a good product. And then the Ordinary Caffeine Serum is also really nice. can help a ton with puffiness, but just watch out for dryness. Be very cautious how much you use of it because a lot of people have noticed dryness the next day, like severe dryness. So don't overdo it. Use it occasionally. Don't go crazy with it, but it can help a lot with puffiness. So just be con conscientious when you apply it. Other eye products I've tried, like Lemur. I don't know why any brand would put fragrance in an eye cream. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I've tried dozens of eye creams, and these are my favorites. These are the best, I believe, that are out there at this point. So maybe Geek and Gorgeous will come out with an eye cream. I don't know. But do you really need an eye cream? It's debatable. Generally, most people probably, especially if you're younger, you probably don't necessarily need an eye cream. But if you have puffiness, getting fine lines, there's nothing wrong with adding an eye cream. A lot of, you can probably just use, most people can get away with using their face cream, things like that. But sometimes for a little bit tougher problem, or if you just like having a nice routine and different products, nothing wrong with having it in there. So and nothing wrong with using your face cream too, so... Anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys what your favorite eye products are. So leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.